an artist by the name of Neri Oxman. She's a pioneer in 3D printing in the art world. She teamed up her organization, which was called Mediate Matter, with the Department of Mechanical Engineering at MIT, and they created this. This thing that you're looking at right now is a 3D printer that uses glass. Now, here's I mean, how it works. From this video, I don't even care what they're making because it just cool, looks cool. Right? Yeah. It looks so cool. <laughs> oh, at the top of the machine, it's a small kiln. It's, it's actually a kiln, a ceramic line kiln that fires to about 1900 degrees Fahrenheit. The glass is placed at the top in, in that kiln where it melts and then it flows down into the lower section of the printer. That lower section is essentially a alumina zirconia silica nozzle. Uh, which allows it to flow precisely where they want it to go. The entire kiln uh, slash nozzle, it's moved over a build platform that allows the glass to, to cool as it's extruded through the nozzle. And uh, when they want to stop, they actually have a system that it forces a blast of compressed air. It solidifies the glass and the printing process ends. Well, one of the things I found fascinating too is that they're just using Arduinos. Arduinos yeah. with a uh, ramp shield. Exactly. So this this is not like a super powered device. This is essentially any three D any three D printer with an Atmega chipset in it. Yeah. The only difference is that this happens to have a nineteen hundred degree kiln sitting on the top of it. <laughs> not your average three D printer. Not yeah. your average. No. Now they were able to print layers with a height of four point five millimeters, a width of seven point nine five millimeters. So it's you know not really small, not fine, but it had a tolerance of 0.5 millimeters, which if you're if you're working with glass, that's incredible because yeah. glass ain't the easiest material to work with because it tends to be, you know, uh, hot. Yeah, hot. <laughs> just a little bit. It tends to kill you <laughs> if, if you like let it drip all over you. But uh, yeah, I don't know the practical purposes of this. I mean, it is it's supposed to be an art project, but uh, I still think it's cool, Brian. I, look I, it looks like honey. It's kind mesmerizing. Of yeah, Ooh. I could just watch it. You just want to reach out. Yeah, don't touch. Don't don't touch. Don't oh, touch. by the way, when I was doing the, the project, I had uh, the hot glue. And yeah. hot glue, you always have a tendency to just want to wipe it away. And then, Ooh. Remember, oh, it's still hot. And then it's stuck to you. Can, yep. you, remember, can you imagine I if you did that with I would not want to have that tendency with this. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. If you want to do 3D printing, start with Tinkercad and then move to glass. Oh, that's beautiful. That is cool. I, now I'm starting to think of uh, maybe like a 3D glass design that you incorporate with like LEDs or some sort of lighting <gasps> system to redirect oh. like the light and fraction. Ooh, that was cool. That, oh, see that. Okay. All right. I, I got I to gotta stop now because I'm geeking out too much.